everybody. Uh, we are testing out the Ooze Labs chemistry station from Let the Children Play Toy Shop and oh my gosh, what fun it is. So Roy, tell us what we've been doing. Hello everybody, my name's Roy and today me and my mum have just made slime, but not just any old slime, glow in the dark slime. Very cool. What does glow in the dark mean? Glow in the dark means, means it you can like it glows in the dark, so you can see it like light up in the dark. Right. So but, what what was the word that we learnt off it? Phos. Phos. Phosphorant. Phosphorant. Or phosphorus. Or phosphorus. Yeah, it's a big word, isn't it? Mm. All right. So first of all, how did we make it? What did we do? Look at this station. This is so cool. So so what did you do? So first we got. Our big test tube over here. Yep. Second, uh, okay. So there's so really we, cool instructions second, for the kids to follow. We, we place the test tube in the rack on the chemistry station. Yep. Then we opened the satch of glow in the dark powder. Hang on, didn't we put something in the tube first? I. For net, well, before we put the sash in, we put water. And you had to measure it out, didn't you? Exactly yes. using what? Exactly. Using the large beaker. This beaker. Yep. And and we measured it correctly. Yep. And then we then we miss we mix the the glow in the dark right. special powder with it. Mhm. Yep. So we. So and then then what did we have to do? We so we had to grab this. The bottle yep. and shake it around every cup for 30 seconds, then every couple of minutes. Then we took it out, out show, show it to a light bulb, and took it in my dark room. In fact, we found it worked better, didn't it, if we put it in the sun? Yes. Yeah. So if you put it in the sun for, I don't know, a couple of minutes or so yep. a few seconds, and it's, well, mainly a couple of minutes, yep. it's it should be glow in the dark. Nice. Now, we're going to, we haven't really had a good play with it yet. So we've put it in the Petri dish. So grab, grab that container, Roy. Let's make some space on the table here and let's get it out and let's have some fun because this is actually slime. This is our first time ever making slime. You might have to scoop it out with your fingers. Why don't I use that? No, no, use your fingers. Go on, get in there. This is science. Oh, that was so easy. Look at that. All right, have a play with it because... It was very liquid to start with, wasn't it? So we were shaking and shaking, and it got heavier and heavier. You know what it reminds me of? What? Ghostbusters. Oh, yeah. It's like ecto slime. <laughs> What's it feel like? Describe it. Um, very gooey. <laughs> very gooey. Fun. Fun. All right. Sticky. So guys, just letting you know that even if you're stuck at home, you can still do awesome science. Isn't this great? Because we've been learning measuring how to say phosphorus, which is really fun to say. And now we get to play with something gooey and fun. Oh my goodness, look at that. All right, so Roy, do you give this a thumbs up? I give it 10 thumbs up. 10 thumbs up. And this is just the first experiment. And wait, wait, wait. Um, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hang on. I've got a good one. I've got a good one. Let me, let me have some. Let me have some. This is here. Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, hang on. Here we go. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh sorry. All right, folks, so that's just experiment one. I think it comes with about 10 experiments on cards, and then there's even more, another 10 that they suggest, all from things that you can use at home. All right, thanks a lot. See ya. Bye. <laughs> hey, bye, Roy. Bye. <laughs>